Hello everyone, and welcome to the only game that has worse optimization than my lifestyle. It's natural disaster survival. So, in today's video, I want to go ahead and specify and clear up some of the things that I forgot in my last video. Things I'm actually like willing to say with my own lips. Um... Roblox is mature content. I want to go a little bit more in depth into that. They're going to be allowing games that portray heavy amounts of violence, potential nudity later down the line, judging from some things that I've heard uh, from videos that Green Lego Cats 123 uploaded, uh, which credits to him because he makes really good informative Roblox videos. Uh, he is definitely one of the go-to YouTubers if you want Roblox information that's accurate. Um, the mature content in question is definitely getting um, noticeably more bold uh, but it's also being moderated appropriately because um, the Fimby's restaurant game that I mentioned in the previous video I forgot to mention that it was taken down like completely the owner did say that they would be bringing it back which I don't necessarily think is appropriate because remember, um, just like voice chat, anyone can sneak their way in by either having a very careless parent who doesn't watch after their ID, or having a very, very overwhelmingly approving parent that allows their kid to use their ID without any second question. So... This is problematic for a multitude of reasons. It could expose uh, young children to potentially dangerous content that could scar their mind and cause things like um, porn addiction, objectification, um, immaturity, uh, lots of stuff that's just uh, pretty twisted that you wouldn't want happening to your child. Um, now, I know obviously there's not anything directly sexual in the game, but the people that go there are more than likely going to be people who are already pretty much unhinged when it comes to um, mental stability and well-being which I feel like there should be a bit of a understanding in contrast between uh, mentally struggling and degenerative because there is a contrast it is hard to tell sometimes but there are ways to tell when it's one or the other usually those ways consist of just like it's the person's behavior, if that makes sense. Like, if they are genuinely trying to make amends and change as a person, chances are they regret their actions. And if they're doing that even before they're caught, you can almost say for certain that it's someone that's just not necessarily well in the head and is desperate to try to find a release for that. Uh, I've seen cases where that's been the case. It's not impossible, despite most people's belief. But I feel like most of the people here that go to like Fembies and such, uh, especially the staff, given the one person that I mentioned in the previous video, there is no denying that there is a very high potential for degeneracy and potential child endangerment and bear in mind when I say child I'm using the term very broadly 
uh, anyone from the ages of literally 1 all the way up to 17. Because anyone within that age range is legally classified as a minor or child. So, another thing I wanted to go ahead and talk about is the uh, furry community as a whole and why I think it needs a serious fix-up. So, if you're not in the know already, uh, my channel mascot, Straw Bunny, uh, they're obviously a fursona. They're my fursona, if you didn't know that. Uh, they're kind of like a representation of me, kind of like a persona, but it's not human, so that's like the most dumbed down way I could put it for you guys. Uh, so I am in fact in the community, but I will say I don't necessarily support the people who are uh, purposely going out of their way to try to manipulate or endanger uh, children or animals because uh, animal abuse and zoos are a serious problem. Um, as unfortunate as it is, we are humans and humans are pretty sick in the head. So, uh, take of it what you will. But, um, I would also like to mention that certain things are being misjudged as well such as the entirety of the community being that way which again it's not uh, even if it is a majority I can promise you that not everyone in the community is that way even if it does seem that way uh, finding the good apples is a lot harder than finding the bad apples nowadays because of uh, saturation Saturation has a very major part to do with uh, a lot of things. And if something is too saturated, then um, it will be the main focus and it will feel like there's nothing else. And that's kind of what's happened with uh, a lot of the communities on the internet lately. Um, another thing that I've noticed is people are starting to use uh, fan and character uh, analyses to try to hold a pitchfork against someone. Uh, for this, I want to specify that if it exists, there's, there's going to be very uh, suggestive art of it, uh, or even downright inappropriate, not safe for work art. Uh, it's unavoidable. Uh, it's the, one of the rules of the internet. Uh, the 34th rule, if it exists, there's going to be something inappropriate of it. It's unavoidable. Uh, whether you whether you approve of that or not is that it's up to you. But you gotta at least accept it for what it is because. You know, not safe for work stuff. It sells. It really sells in this world. And it sucks to admit that. But, uh, it is what it is. You can't, you can't change that. None of us can as individuals. And, um, whether we like it or not, it is the world that we live in. Um, I remember watching a, uh, video by Parlo, which, Parlo is pretty, like, good at what they do as well. They do kind of, like, oversaturate some of their thumbnails or videos, but most of their information is legitimate. I watched the uh, Mozzie Mice video that he released. Uh, it was it was fairly informative and it like got the point across. But 
like one of the biggest nitpicks I had was the whole bringing up a Fanon, you know, ideology into the picture because if there's not a canon, you know, depiction of the character's age, the character in question being Rosé, then there's no real right or wrong answer to it. It's kind of up to the viewer, kind of like how Frisk's gender is up to the viewer. You get what I'm saying? There's some anonymity to it. Not to say that their their point was stupid, I just don't necessarily see it as a valid argument to bring up. Regardless, the stuff that they bring up besides that is a valid argument, without a doubt. Most of the stuff that they bring up is valid. Um, I will say that I am getting mildly annoyed and this goes for every community, not just the furry community. I am getting annoyed of people's pasts getting brought up, even though it's been, like, years. This whole mindset of, hey, you remember what you did years ago? Well, now you're gonna pay for it. Well, I just don't see... <laughs> I don't see a logical standpoint in that. It's basically forcing someone to relive their past and uh, that's not cool bro if the person has changed and they've genuinely not done anything again then yeah leave them be bro like their past is their past they're a changed person now like leave them the freak alone like even if they supposedly haven't paid retribution in your eyes you're not the embodiment of justice so, who are you to take actions into your own hands? You get me? But, if the person hasn't changed and it's obvious that, you know, there's still a problem, then yeah, you can bring it up and be like, hey, why is this a reoccurring problem? What are you doing, bro? Like that, I can agree with, but trying to ruin someone who's tried their hardest to change and ruin their life or day that's messed up you're basically making yourself the villain to supposedly take down a quote-unquote bigger villain and this isn't directed at parlo he's not the one that brought that stuff up he's just making an informative informative video so no grudges against him like i said his videos are informative just like green lego cat but to the people who purposely find people who've changed and are trying to live a happy life redeemed from their past and you purposely go digging in their past to ruin their happy life and make it to where they have to relive their mistakes again there's a very very specific place in the underworld for you alright Look, I don't wish death upon anyone. You die when you die. I don't care. But I can at least give a uh, solid idea of what I think deserves to happen on your final judgment. I may not be God, but I do have an opinion. Just like how everyone has a butthole. I have a butthole. I have an opinion. You have a butthole. You have an opinion. So... Yeah, it is what it is. Everyone has an opinion, just like everyone has a butthole. You don't like it? Oh well, cry about it. Not my problem. Anyways, back on subject. Um, furries, degeneracy, uh, hypersexuality. Which, yes, that's a real thing. If you don't want to believe that, uh, Google it. It's a real thing that people have. Um, it can... It has been self-diagnosed by some people, but it can also be diagnosed by, like, therapists or doctors, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not, a, I'm not, a, like, a mental or medical expert, obviously. But, um, I feel like it is kind of obvious that, like, certain things can happen to your mind that will cause you to be, like, hyper-focused on, like, not safe for work and things that could potentially be damaging to your mental or even physical health. It happens, and a lot of addictions spark from 
uh, trying to cope with trauma. <clears throat> Uh, as someone who's studied many people's psyche and psychological uh, clockwork, I can say with certainty that trauma reshapes people, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worst. Uh, I've made an analysis on myself, and I will say that it has kind of caused like damage for me that I wish didn't happen when it comes to my trauma, but I don't see a point in trying to pretend the past didn't happen. I'm fully like aware of the past, I'm open about it, I don't try to lie it away, I admit my mistakes, I apologized for them countless times, and you know, I've redeemed myself as a human, so whatever, right? But Apparently, for some people, uh, that's not enough. And some people don't believe in the idea of like hypersexuality, mental trauma, mental instability, yada yada yada. You know what? If you don't, if you don't believe that pain exists, then who are you to say that you're truly in the righteous mindset? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? If you don't know what pain is, you don't know what it's like to be a good person because most of the good people in this world experienced pain and realized how much it sucked, so they purposely went out of their ways to try to make sure that nobody else had to endure that. Like, you can ask any person who's, like, the kindest person you know, why they're so kind and they're just going to be like they're either going to say I don't know or they're going to say because I know how much it hurts to you know have someone be mean to you and like genuinely hurt your feelings so like I said trauma can reshape people for the better and for the worse and a lot of people in the furry community uh, are actually like traumatized from certain things not all of them obviously I'm not saying in order to be a furry you have to be traumatized but like a lot of people in the community are traumatized from one thing or another just like humanity a lot of people are traumatized by things and that trauma can shape them to do great things or it can shape them to do awful things and some people are just degenerates at birth this especially applies to the furry community uh, community notorious for being so open-armed for people and not being discriminatory whatsoever due to that fact a lot of uh, degens and single-celled or single-brain-celled freaks basically huddle towards the furry community it's the same problem with the uh, uh, LGBT. Unfortunately, the whole uh, maps situation, if you know what I'm talking about. If there's openness and welcomeness in a community, people are going to abuse it to slither in, and it's going to cause problems. You take a community that's both LGBT inclusive, race inclusive, not judgmental for your desires, whether it be in bed or out of bed, and show it to someone who's borderline a freak. You're going to end up with problems, and those problems can potentially be irreversible. So what's my final verdict on this community? Honestly... It's a giant fire. A giant dumpster fire. But in every dumpster fire you can find one unburnt piece of gold. You get what I'm saying? In every dumpster fire, there's always going to be one unburnt piece of gold. 
even if it's not literal gold, it's going to be something that you can enjoy, that doesn't leave a taste of disdain in your mouth. And I feel like this holds true for a lot of the communities that have gotten a bad rep because of the sickos who slithered their way into the masses. There will always be a good apple, even if it takes ages to find them. Even if it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, they exist. You just need to look in the right place. I will go ahead and say right here and now, I am probably one of the few who's actually willing to shout against their own community without the fear of backlash because a lot of people in this community can't accept that they're in a community like the one they're in. And to those people, I think it's time for all of us to go ahead and open our eyes and just accept the truth. This community ain't perfect. It's quite the opposite. And if you can't accept that, then, well, you got two options. Either you, re you rebel against us or you just leave. You either become a neofer or you become a normal person. Or, if you are already a normal person, and you can't accept that no community is perfect, but you choose to specifically hate the furry community the most, then you can become uh, one of the most common things on the internet nowadays, it seems. Uh, and that's an anti-furry, but that's entirely up to you. If you want to go that route and basically give even innocent people no human rights just because there's a good majority of people who don't deserve that, then go ahead. I'm not one to stop you. Do I agree with what you're doing? No, not really. I mean, if you're specifically going for the people that deserve that kind of hate, then whatever. I don't care. But if you're involving innocence just by association, then yeah. You're pretty, you're pretty messed up. Not even gonna lie to you. Anyways, yeah. That's everything that I forgot to clarify in my previous video with some natural disaster gameplay in the background. This was a live commentary. I'm sorry if my th voice sounds, uh... groany, or whatever. Uh, today was kinda hard. I'm not gonna necessarily dig into my personal life here, but, uh, I'm just gonna simplify it. You can name this if you want, I don't really care. Uh, I cried in the shower. Do what you will with that information. Anyways, yeah, uh, it's been straw. Have a nice day, or night, or whatever. Uh, if you want to get the word of this video out to people, you can like it, share it, do whatever. I'm not going to force you. If you liked the video and you liked the information or takes that I had, then whatever. Like it. If you don't like it, then dislike it. Or maybe say something in the comments like, hey, I don't necessarily agree with this. And you know what? We can talk. We can talk, you know? We can have a nice, civil little conversation and maybe find a neutral ground where we both have our own takes and we're both like, yeah, you know, this is how we see it and this is how I do it, this is how you do it. Both takes are fair, you know. Everyone's take on a situation is mostly valid. Like, there's no denying that. If you got a take on a situation, then, like, you know, it's your take. There's no taking that away from you. So if you got a take on the whole furry community situation, yeah, share it in the comments. I'm all ears. I'm open to talk with you about your thoughts. Um, to anyone in the community that's, like, hurt by the knowledge, uh, I'm not gonna apologize for other people's actions, because I'm, frankly, not in control of what this community does as the majority. But, um, 
I will at least apologize for the fact that you had to endure the information. Because it sucks to admit that, you know, the world is the way it is sometimes. That's just how it is. Anyways, uh, yeah, game is lagging because poorest optimization in Roblox. Uh, like I said, it's been Stroll. Nice seeing you guys and girls and anything in between. I'll be seeing you guys again next video, whenever that might be. Uh, stay safe, have a good one. Uh, love you all.